Hello, students. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, it's a pleasure to see you once again, to be here with you. How was your day? Thank you, teacher. It is a place for me to, uh, it was a hard day. I think it was like Friday and not Tuesday. <laughs> I, I am very, I am very tired. <laughs> and the traffic imagine. jam is a mess out there. <laughs> Yeah, because as tomorrow it's a holiday. I mean, it's yeah. it's very difficult. Everybody wants to go out. Everybody wants to get home. Everybody yeah. wants to go shopping for things. It's a very complicated day. Many people want to buy flowers today. Many people want to buy things to take to the cemetery. It's, it's very complicated. I always believe that if you are going to give flowers to someone, give them when they can see them. Yes. Yeah, I think it, that's something that I really <laughs> that I really think. Whenever I I just appear with flowers for my mother, and she says like, "But why? What's the reason?" It's like just because I said, <laughs> "Yeah, but because be you can enjoy it right now." <laughs> exactly like that. I mean, yeah, I always tell that to my husband. If you are going to I'm give me flowers right now, <laughs> <not later. laughs> here you have the opportunity. <laughs> exactly, I can I can see them, smell them, and enjoy them. Yeah, yeah. so. It's cool, but it's nice that you arrive home safe and sound. That's pretty yeah, awesome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Hello, Carlita. Yeah. How was your day, Carlita? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Um, very tall. I imagine. Were you able to enter to the platform? No, no, teacher. Yeah. Uh, no. No. Uh, Ahora le escribí a, a, no sé quién me estuvo contestando, porque mi plataforma en la anterior en la que yo tenía, tengo hasta el módulo 4 uh -huh. eh, del básico, pero no me, no me refleja el módulo 6. Entonces ellas me estuvieron diciendo que me estuvieron enviando correos, pero yo no he recibido ningún correo para poder este, como activar la plataforma. Uh -huh. Entonces no tengo ningún correo. Y en spam tampoco, en nada. No, en nada. Pero sí. ellas dicen que me lo envían, pero no, no recibo ningún correo. Incluso siempre que me conecto a la clase, siempre, siempre eh, tengo un, un... Bájale el volumen, por favor. Siempre me recibo un correo de, de confirmación que ya eh, que puedo ingresar a la clase o que ya uh -huh. soy conectada a la clase. Ese correo lo recibí ayer y ahora. Ajá. Pero los correos que me estaban mencionando, que me, me han enviado para yo activar la plataforma, no tengo ningún correo. Sí, quizás este sería de que usted les envíe un correo a ellas y que ellas le contesten sobre el correo que usted les envíe. Ok. Ajá, hacer, porque entonces. quizás quizás han de tener algún error en el, en el correo que ellas están utilizando para comunicarse con usted. Porque acuérdese que eso, un puntito, una letra, algo mal puesto y nada que funciona. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, Ahí, lo, sí. sí lo, así voy a hacer. Entonces, en el correíto que me enviaron para poder llenar el, el formulario sobre uh -huh. ese correíto, entonces les voy, a, les voy a contestar para que me envíen el, el Ex enlace. Exacto, o copié los correos de ellos y créeles un nuevo correo a ustedes de su, de, de su correo para que no se haga como la cadena esa de spam que no la spam. reciba. Ajá. Okay. Entonces, sí, para, para eso. Ahí, yo lo comuniqué hoy por la mañana, me dijeron que lo iban a revisar, pero igual... Eh, esté pendiente y si no, igual me avisa el día de mañana, creo, bueno, el día de mañana no trabajan porque es asueto, pero okay. este, lo puede enviar para que ya quede el correo ahí. Ok. Ok. Thank you Gracias. Very much. You're welcome. Well, everybody, welcome. Horacio, Raúl, hello, José Luis, Hernán, Nelson, Ellen Nilsson, Magdiel. It's a pleasure to have you here. Remember to turn on your cameras because we need to have the cameras on during the complete session for us to um, make sure that we are here, that we are participating and that we are being part of the class. 
thank you for being here. I know traffic is horrible. I know it has been a very long day, a short Friday. It will be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday again, and then Friday again. That would be fantastic, right? We're going to have a very short week this week. And I hope you enjoy the time with your family. So uh, today we're going to work a little bit on the book. We are going to do some exercises from it. I don't know if you had the opportunity to check on the videos on the manual, the ones that I told you yesterday. What were they about? De qué eran los videos? Vamos a ver quién los vio. Um, about when you, when you when you meet with someone. Uh -huh. <laughs> I I only watch one video. Uh -huh. So you only watch one when you meet with someone. You say, okay. What about Nelson? What can you tell me? Uh, I watch only second video because the first uh, is doesn't available. Okay. The second video uh, uh, talk about getting a job. Uh -huh. And the education. Exactly. Education, qualifications, and important yes. facts about getting a job. Yeah, that's very yes. good. What are the qualifications that you need to have when you get a job? Because it's not that you are just going to go and say, here I am, hire me, right? No, you need to be qualified for a specific job. For example, if you are going to work in a bakery, what qualifications do you need to have? Uh -huh. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Juan Francisco. I am oyente, teacher. It's Here okay, it's okay. it's okay. No, you are part of my class. You are one of my students. You are as important as, as all of them. Don't worry. Thank you. Okay, so if you want to work in a bakery, en una panadería, what are the qualifications or what are the abilities that you need to have? Make bread. You need, okay, you need to know how to make bread. That's the most important, right? What else? Make a cupcakes. To make cupcakes, very good. How to make cupcakes, very good. What other things do you consider important for you to work in a bakery? Uh, the cake, to you make need, the cake. You need to know how to make cakes, good. What else? Do you think that being delicate and organized is important when you work in a, in a bakery? Or you're going to be like, ah, whatever. You need to be very organized, right? You need to be very careful and you need to be very delicate at the moment of decorating the things. Oriented what? to the details. Oriented to details, very good, right? You have to be oriented to details because you need to be very careful at them. Imagine you say, right there, congratulations, uh, Brian, on the cake. Yeah. There you go. Huh? Okay, thank you. <laughs> and you don't even understand the handwriting of the person, right? What qualifications do you think you need to have if you want to work as a teacher? What do you think? Patient. You need to be patient, you say. Uh -huh. What else? Organized. Organized. Good. Patient, organized. What else? Uh -huh. Okay, fast. Share the, the knowledge. You need to be able to share knowledge. Good. Very good. What else? You need to be educated. You need to be well educated. Very good. What else? Patient. I, I don't know how how pronounce this this word to be patient patient no, but, but not patient it's like paciente yeah, pero... yeah. so you say patient yeah patient it's like patient yeah like... it's like this this is the same ah, okay. right it's the same right you have to be patient right Thanks. you have to be patient and passionate 
right? You have to be passionate about what you're doing because if not, you are going to be like, okay, class, we're going to learn, get your notebook and do whatever you want. Just because you want the money, just because you want the position, just because you want the recognition, but you are not uh, in love of what you do. What abilities do you need if you are want if you want to be an accountant? What are the adjectives that you could use to describe an accountant? To you need to be. Uh huh. So, okay, Magdiel, and then Nelson. To be organized. Organized. Uh huh. Yes. Nelson. You need to be very good with the numbers. You need to be good with numbers, right? If you are not good with numbers, don't give teacher Nati the job because that would be crazy, right? And it's curious because I graduated as an accountant in high school, right? Mi bachillerato de contaduría. I don't know how I did it. My God, I really admire my teachers for all the patience that they have when I was learning. But I said, <laughs> that's not my job to be good with numbers to be organized what else to be an accountant what else do you need to be good with a spreadsheet to be good with spreadsheets very good you need to know excel and you need to know all the programs very well because if not you are lost what about to be a computer engineer what qualifications do you think you need to have Maybe fix the computer. Or to, know, to know how the to tools. fix the computer? The yeah. tools. Very good. <laughs> you have to know how to restart the computer. <laughs> they always say like, se me arruinó la compu. Reiniciela. Restart is all. Yeah, restart. Everything is on the restarting. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it, it, is, it is very curious. That's it's like. <laughs> no, I am. I mean, even my brother is a computer engineer, and I always say, like, I already restarted and it's not working. And he says, like, so I cannot do anything. He says, <laughs> okay, so you need to be good with computers, you need to be good with the tools, and for sure, uh, you need to be very detail oriented as well as when you work in a bakery because the computers have these little, little things that you need to work on. Okay, let me see. I am going to ask about your professions. Let's see, Carla Flores, what is your profession? Receptionist. A receptionist. What yeah. are the best qualifications for a receptionist? What do you think are the most important things? Think about um, yours because I'm going to ask everybody. Um, Organized. I have organized. Okay, organized. Good. Organized. Yeah. Um, what do you say? Amable. Kind. Kind. And okay. um, what do you say? Um, eh, expresión de palabras. ¿Cómo se dice? Ah, okay. That can be a. It can be like outgoing or. Let me see. I am going to write it here. Okay, I have organized. Organized. Um, and you told me the next one. Amable. A kind, right? A kind. Okay, a good speaker. You have to be a good speaker because if not, you are not going to succeed in that job, right? You have to be easy to talk, right? You have to be sociable. Imagine if you are not sociable and you are in the in that position. Yeah, sociable. sociable. ¿Qué quiere? ¿Para qué habla? No. <laughs> that would be not no, very no, no. good. Okay, good. So we have a couple of uh, things that are important if you want to be a receptionist. What about Horacio? Thank you, Carlita. What about Horacio? What is your profession and what are some of the most important adjectives that you can use to describe your position? I cannot listen to you, sweetie. Salvado por el micrófono. 
<laughs> okay, fix your audio. And then uh, maybe in, in Zoom, you can check your audio connection. Puedes revisar en el micrófono de Zoom para las opciones de audio, para ver si funciona el speaker. Eh, José Luis, ya volvemos con Horacio. Tell me about you. Okay, I have a bachelor degree in marketing uh -huh. and I work as an accounting assistant. Okay, so tell me some of the things that need to be important for you to work as a marketing assistant. You have to be creative. Creative, good. You have to be creative. You have to be organized. Organized, uh -huh. we have it. Be a multitasking person. Multitasking. Good. You have to do you have to be good with social media apps. Okay, you have to be good with social media. Good with apps, I was going to say. Good with apps. Very good, Jose Luis. Thank you very much. What about Magdiel? Tell me a little bit about you, your profession, and what are the most important adjectives for it? Um, um, automotive technician. Uh -huh. And I think that... Um, is sociable. Sociable, good. And pay attention when I I assemble the, the engine. Okay. For example. Attentive, careful, very careful. good. Yeah. Okay. That is all. Very good. Very good job. Thank you, Magdiel. What about Nelson? Uh, my profession currently is system engineer mm -hmm. and I think that the most um, qualification the most important qualification uh -huh. the most important qualification <clears throat> is um, I need to be up to date with the technologies and to be multitask and to be very patient. Patient, right? I think in all the jobs, you need to be a little bit patient because clients are difficult, but clients are first, right? You need to be patient. Very good job. Thank you, Nelson. What about Mr. Hernan? What can you tell us about your job, the most important things and the qualifications you need to do it? Um, I am work Huseman. Uh -huh. um, also um, customer service, um, receive uh, merchandise, um, quiero ver, Clasificar o clasificarla. No okay, you, you classify the merchandise? Correct. Okay, you have to be careful, you have to be organized. Okay. Eh, eh, y despacho también, no sé cómo se podría decir. Okay, to give away. That is to give away, but what are some of the most important things when you, for example, if a person needs to work in your place, what are the things that he or she needs to do? ¿Qué tendría que tener una persona para trabajar en lo que usted trabaja? ¿Qué habilidades tendría que tener? Um, organize. Uh -huh. Organize. Um, Quiero ver en contable, o sea, un poco de contabilidad o finanzas también. Ok, good with numbers. Sí. Uh -huh. um, y um, organizado. Organized. Ok, thank you yeah. very much, Hernán. Very yeah. good job. Thank you. Ellen Nielsen, tell me a little bit about your job and the qualifications that you need to do it. Ellen Nilsson, I cannot listen to you as well. Sorry. No, I can listen to you. 
Hello, hello. Yeah, I can listen to you now. Okay. Um, I'm our marshal, and uh, the most important thing I think is I must be careful. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, not to cause accident is the most important. Tune the plane. To be careful, right? You need to be very careful because you are the yeah. person in charge, right? And if you yeah. make a mistake, everything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, everything disappears. Thank you very much, Ellen Nielsen. Excellent. You're welcome. Let's see, okay. Horacio, did you fix your microphone? No. I cannot listen to you still. Maybe if you log in again. Yeah, you should try that one. Okay, Aleida, you will be the last one for this exercise. Um, okay, in my case, I am an account receivable. Uh, you have to be very good with the numbers. Um, you have to be uh, oriented uh, to Customer service in this case. Uh -huh. because Customer. You have, yeah, yeah, continue. Yeah, because you have to uh, talk a lot of and explain many things uh, to other persons, other clients in this case. Uh, uh, you have uh, to know how to use spreadsheet, Excel, and you have to know about banks reconciliation. Something like that because I have to verify the the bank reconciliation some sometimes okay. because of the payment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very important. So you have to have customer service abilities, right? Because in some cases you say, "No, I am very good at attending people." Yeah, but it is very different when you have the customer service practice, right? Because you can actually interact with many other people in the correct way, right? Thank you very much, my dear students. We got and we went over some of the most important qualifications and things that you need to have in order to develop your job. Okay, so this is basically what we were going to work on today. And in order to start with today's class, I am going to share my class rules, right? Remember, there are some important things that we need to follow every single day. And I am going to be sharing them with you in every class. Let me see. I am going to ask Eric to help me to read them. Can you help me, Eric? I lost Eric Jose, Eric Jose, Eric Jose. Lo busca, teacher Nati. Can you help me to read the first one? Uh, uh, first, practice your English as much as possible. Practice your English as much as possible. Practice your English as much as possible. Uh, number two, Aleida. Ask for help when needed. Number three, Magniel. Keep your cameras on all the time. Very good. Number four, Nelson. Keep microphones off if we are not using them. Very good. Number six, Carla. Participate uh, as much as, as possible. Participate as much as possible. Very good. Number seven, Jose Luis. Keep a cooperative attitude during class. Keep a cooperative attitude during class. Very good. Number eight, Ellen Nielsen. Uh, do you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, number eight, right? Yes. Collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. Okay. Collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. And number nine, Raul Ernesto. Uh, work on the platform every day okay those are the class agreements that i have set for this group right these are the things that we're going to be following every day for you to be successful in all the things that we do in class okay do you think that we have uh, to add something else to the agreements or is it okay like that 
quisieran agregar otro acuerdo de clase o es también los que les he escogido? In my opinion, I think it's okay. It's okay for me. Okay. It's okay for me too. We are going to I only have a question, uh -huh. uh, teacher. Yep. I, I'm sorry. So I was taking my dinner and that's the reason that I take off the, the camera. In this case, I know <laughs> I know there is necessary that we have um, on the camera all the time. But my question is, if you are uh, having your dinner or maybe have a, a pan con frijolito. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I mean, the, the only problem will be that we are going to be craving for that. You know what's the meaning of craving? I am going to send it to you on the chat. Craving. Craving is like when you see a person eating and you are like, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the only problem. But um, as I always say, yo siempre les digo, eh, hasta es, es para mí hasta un honor en realidad que me dejen llegar hasta sus hogares. Porque yo sé que ustedes están ahí, están haciendo cosas, está es su familia. Igual aquí, pues ustedes no lo ven, pero aquí anda mi chucho, mi gato, el, el niño, mi esposo. Y pasan todos como alrededor. Y, y, y estamos en la casa. Entonces ustedes siéntanse cómodos de disfrutar la clase y seguir haciendo otras cosas, pero de poner atención. ¿Ok? No va a estar ahí viendo la tele, ve ahí viendo la clase, porque no vamos a estar haciendo las dos cosas al mismo tiempo. Pero usted puede estar comiendo, puede tener su bebida, puede tener su café, puede tener ahí el cuaderno a la par, solo tenga cuidado de no poner el café sobre el cuaderno, ¿verdad? porque puede ser un accidente. Entonces ahí ustedes siéntanse eh, cómodos de tomar agua, de comer y cosas así. O sea, no, se, no se preocupen. Si se sienten tal vez incómodos que lo vean comiendo, tal vez bajen un poquito la cámara para que no lo vean ahí masticando el pan, vea. Pero por mí, de veras, que a mí lo, para mí lo importante es que ustedes estén, que disfruten y aprendan. ¿Ok? Ya, si necesitan el cafecito para estar despiertos las dos horas, sé que es duro venir de trabajar y estar en clase, pero es admirable porque ustedes lo están haciendo porque lo quieren hacer. Así que de repente van a ver a mi chucho aquí en la cámara porque le gusta la cámara y se pone aquí a ver a la gente. Entonces son cosas, gajes del oficio, les digo. Así que no se preocupen. So, Aleida, there's no problem with that. You see, there's Canelo there next to Aleida. <laughs> we will, for me, it's okay, right? So that's why I chose this type of agreements for us to have in class. Well, my dear students, let's start with one of the exercises that I have ready for today. Before uh, going over this one, I'm going to call the attendance so we can just go along with the class and uh, Enjoy it. I am going to call the attendance. Remember, if you listen to your name, say here or present. Okay, it's time to do it before I move on the on the next exercise. Let me see. Today I am going to dedicate my final minutes of the class to Andrea Sofia. Is Andrea Sofia here? Andrea Sofia. Andrea Sofia. No. Yes. Okay. Let me check. Let me see. Here it is. Okay. Uh, Andrea is connected. Okay, it's, she's not connected. Aleida Esmeralda? Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Sofia is not here. Uh, Blanca Alejandra? Carlos Eduardo? Carlos Eduardo Torres. Carlitos, not here. Okay, let's continue. Cesar Romero. Cesar. Okay. Presente. Oh, thank you very much. Let's go. Ellen Nilsson Aparicio. Present teacher. Eric José. Present teacher. Eh, Hazel Elizabeth. Hernán Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Horacio José. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Eh, let's go. José Luis Ramos. Present. Thank you. Juan Francisco. 
Present teacher. Carla Flores. Present teacher. Nelson Alberto. Here. Paola Elena. Here teacher. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio. Raúl Ernesto. Here. Wilber Alberto. Present. Jasmine Elizabeth. Magdiel, thank you. Magdiel Esaú. Present. Thank you. Did I miss anybody? Me faltó alguien que no lo mencioné. No? Done. Excellent. Okay, so let's continue with the class. I have here a little quote, right? You know what's the meaning of quote? A quote is a phrase, right? A phrase that was written by someone, very important person or a person. It, in most of the cases, most of the quotes are anonymous, right? But the quote, and it's called quote because it is between quotations. Quotations are comillas, right? This ones that you have here. And I am going to send it on the chat as well. Quotations, right? Las comillas. And a quote, it's a phrase that is between quotations, right? The phrase for today says, always trust in your own abilities. Even when you think you can't, you can. I need you to analyze this for a moment. And I need you to tell me what you understand from this phrase. Always trust in your own abilities. Even when you think you can't, you can. I need you to analyze it for a moment and to tell me what do you understand with the phrase? ¿Qué les dice la frase? ¿Cómo la entienden ustedes? Don't give up. For you not to give up. Very good. What else do you get with the phrase? That sometimes you have to in that you have to believe in yourself. Good, Alida. That sometimes you have uh, the ability, but uh, you're nervous. It doesn't uh, allow you to uh, put in practice that ability or that knowledge that you have. Okay, nervousness is the worst oh, enemy. Okay. Yes, very good yeah. job. Someone else? Thank you, Aleida. What else do you get from the phrase? There are no incorrect answers. It's okay. No hay respuestas incorrectas. No se preocupe. We are able to, to do anything. That you are able to do anything. Very good job. What else? Okay, you are able to do anything that you can, that you don't have to be afraid, that you have to, uh, to try. Uh -huh. Don't let nervousness take away your success. What else? What do you get when say, even when you think you can't, you can. What is something that you believe you can't do and you end up doing it? Algo que ustedes pensaron que no podían hacer porque no podían en su vida y lo lograron y lo están haciendo. That you say, no, I will never do that. And you did it. What is something? Think about, think about your life. Something that you consider you were not going to be able to do it, and you did it. Teacher? Uh huh. Um, it's going to seem uh, ridiculous. <laughs> my it's example. okay. Uh huh. <laughs> But, yeah, you will, um, you will, you will laugh with my example. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, four years ago, and I go, go, go. Uh, when I saw people driving cars, I said, 
I never will uh, learn to drive a car because for me it was uh, difficult or I think it looks difficult, very difficult now. And when I start to uh, learn to drive a car, I was very nervous. <laughs> but now I can drive very well. <laughs> you see, now you can drive a car, right? Even when you think you can't, you can. Now you can do it, right? I thought, and you will laugh about this, I thought I was going to die the day that I went into an airplane. I said, el día que me subo un avión, me voy a morir. Ahí me voy a morir. Me va a dar un infarto y me voy a morir. That's what I thought. And here I am. <laughs> I didn't But die. that was about because you think, you thought that you were, that you were going to have a uh, um hard emotions yeah I, i'm no i mean i was afraid i, I mean oh. in my in my mind it was like i cannot do it i cannot i will never be able to do it it was like there was something silly right it was like meh <laughs> and it was like ah yes do eso es todo come on <laughs> so i think i was i was just like being pretentious about what what was going to happen Also, I thought that I will never going to I was never going to survive in the accounting high school and I graduated because I am not good with numbers. Right. And I say, mm, no, that's not possible. I said, because I was very bad with numbers and I did it. So those are the examples that I want you to think about it and to say like, okay, this is something that I thought I was going as I was never going to be able to do but I did. And that's the meaning of, of this quote, right? Even when you consider that you cannot do something, you end up doing it. Imagine, did you imagine that you were going to be speaking English at this time on the, of the year? ¿Se imaginaron que iban a estar hablando inglés a este momento de su vida? No, really, right? No, I never think. So you see, that's something that you thought you couldn't do and you are doing. And I remember and I imagine that maybe one day you say, I know it's too difficult. I know people who speak English, that's boring. I know it's because they sound very picky. Bien fresas se oyen cuando hablan inglés. Bien agrandado se mira. I said the same and I have been a teacher for a long time. I was like, oh, the teachers, I said. <laughs> so you see, that's something that I thought I was not going to do, and I did it. I remember when I was like 16 or 14 years old, I said, oh, the teachers, eh, I will never be a teacher. Yeah, I am. <laughs> 19 years later, I keep biting my tongue because I said, oh, ese sería el último trabajo que yo hiciera. And I have been here forever and I love it. So I was mistaken. I thought I was not able to do it and I did it. So my dear class, we're going to do a little exercise and this is a short conversation just for us to interact a little bit. Here you have, and I need you please to a screenshot the conversation. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I am going to make it smaller for you to screenshot it. There you go. Screenshot the conversation. Screenshot. I will pose. If not, I end up being horrible in the pictures of the screenshots. Go ahead. Screenshot, screenshot. Screenshot. Very good. Ready. Okay. And it says, oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing very well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Go along with me. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Oh, look, there's a talent, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Saturday. Let's enter. enter. Okay, when you say, oh, look and you call people's attention right so you say oh look practice with me 
Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, look. There's a talent contest on Saturday. Talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. Let's enter. Let's enter. Right? You motivate the other one, right? Let's enter. And say, I can't enter a talent contest. I can't enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? What can, what, I can I what can I do? What can I do? It's like, and you're waiting for the answer from the other person. It's like when, when you say, what can I do? It's like, ¿Qué puedo hacer yo? what can I do? And you say, you can sing really well. You can you sing, sing really well. You can well. sing really well. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. And you, and you feel, feel nice, right? Oh, thanks. <laughs> well, I you know. can too. <laughs> Well, you, uh, can you can too. 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 Okay. You can too. Reciben el halago y lo regresan, right? Oh, thanks. You can too. Oh, no. You say like, Ay, no, I cannot do it, right? Oh, no, I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. Okay. Oh, say, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, can I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. So maybe, well, maybe, no, maybe we, we can enter, enter the, contest. the contest. So maybe we can enter the contest. So maybe we so can, maybe enter, we can enter, the enter the contest. Sure, why not? Sure, why, sure. Not? why not? Why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Okay. Okay, okay. let's practice, practice tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay, what we are going to do right now is that I am going to send you to working couples and you are going to create your conversation. But you can use different talents. For example, if you don't want to sing, you can say, ah, but you can draw really well, or you can dance really well, or you can uh, cook really well, or any other ability that you have, okay? So right now, I am going to send you to work with someone else. You are going to work in couples. And when we come back, you are going to give us a little bit on the conversation, voluntarily, right? I am going to ask for some volunteers to share the conversation. Let's see, and here we go. And it's only one group is going to have three members and the other ones are going to have two. Yes, Rafael? Um, no, nothing. <laughs> it's okay, you can ask me the question, don't worry. You are going to use this conversation as a base and you are going to change only the abilities, okay? The abilities are the only ones that you are going to change. So, uh, let me see. There is someone who is driving. Cesar is driving. So I am going to move Cesar. Let me see. Okay, there you go. Let's go to work. Okay, Juan Francisco and Jasmine, did you receive my invitation to go to work in the groups? Jasmine, did you get my invitation to go to work in the groups?
Okay, so right now students are going to create their conversations and when they come back, they are going to share it with the class. After this, we're going to study a little bit about the information in the book. About the use of can and can't. Let's go and see how they are. Mm -hmm. I can enter a talent, a talent content. Hello, my dear students. Any question about pronunciation? Hello, teacher. No problem. No problem. It's everything clear? I have a question. We can yeah. change only the talent and we can use the same conversation. Yes, the only thing that you need to change is the talents, right? The conversation will be the same. Be the same. Okay. Yes. Thanks. Go ahead. I will check on the next group. Hello. Did you finish the conversation? Teacher. Yep. I am my co-work, uh, Juan Francisco, but only listen. Okay, so Juan Francisco? He's only listening tonight. He's only listening tonight. Okay, I have another one, don't worry. I have one here for you right now. Ta-da! Ah! Uh, yeah, 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 he's at the work, he says. Uh, I am I am finished the work tonight for seven seven p.m. Teacher, I come back to my home, uh, San Jacinto to to living for Cathedral, come back in the bus for my work oh for my, my home. Yeah, and I am here in my home at eight thirty. <laughs> you sorry. you got to your house at eight thirty. Oh my god. Yeah, Jasmine is here, so Jasmine can help you to create your conversation. Okay, no problem for me. Hola, Jasmine. ¿Tienes el screenshot de la conversación? Hola, Jasmine. Hello, hello. Nah, se nos ha perdido, Jasmine, también. Okay, for me, no problem, teacher. Okay, we are going to go back in a minute. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I hope they they can... Oh, Jasmine got disconnected again. Oh, she there yeah. she is. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. No, I, Tuesday in my, my convoy, in my, in my work, um, by for folleto, the English class, uh -huh. and the, the copy. And oh, you got a copy oh, of it. Yeah, but and to, to, tomorrow, tonight, but... Uh, Tuesday in the class is the, the foyer for me. Okay. No okay, yeah. good. Very good. The, Jasmine says that she has problems with her internet. Okay, we're going to go back in a second. Let me just check on the other groups and I will come back with you, okay? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Uh, no. Hello. 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 No questions with pronunciation or anything about the conversation? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Uh, uh, I can't sing at all. I can sing at all. You say at all. Sing at all. At all. Score. Yes. Sing at all. Sing I can sing at all. You say at 
Arol, Arol. Es como una R. Arol, ajá, uh -huh. something like that, Arol. Ad oh. Ah, Arol. I can't sing at all, you say. I can't sing at all. At all, right, at all. Ah, como que un... At all. At all. At all. At all. You say, at, you can say at all, or, or you can say at all. At all. At all, right? I can't sing at all. At all. At all. Yes. Any other question? Okay. Is it the only one? Okay. Only one. I am going to check Thank on the next group. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Good evening. Did you finish? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. We're going to go back in a minute. Pre questions with pronunciation? No? No, teacher. No, okay. Moment, no, teacher. okay, perfect. I will check on the last group. Thanks. Eh, siempre, si es seri, sería en la forma eh, en la sí, forma base pero básica. sin el tú sí. pero teacher yep. can you hear me ok, you say you can cook in well you can cook, after can you are going to use a, a normal verb, you can cook oh, okay. well ok you can cook very okay. well ok, okay. Perfect, and it says like I can dance cubia, ok, go ahead I can listen to you Okay. Okay. Oh, empezamos aquí. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Oh, look, there's a Sally contest on Saturday. Let's let's enter. I can I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can cook well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't cook at all. But I can dance cumbia. Okay, so maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Excellent job. You did a very good job. Okay. You will be my first participant soon. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I will go to the last group. I will come okay, back okay. in a second. Okay. Okay. No lo. Hello. Hola. Oh, Horacio, I can listen to you now. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Sí, ya, mi micrófono estaba malo. Ah, okay, okay. Questions? Uh, talent contest, what mean? The talent contest, un uh -huh. concurso de talentos. Oh, okay. Concurso. Concurso okay. de talentos. Uh, I am Kayla and Eric Philip. Okay. Did you change the talents or you left the same? Uh, hemos cambiado. Okay. Varios, uh, Okay, oh, let's... look. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, look. There is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can dance really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too? Oh, no. I can dance at all, but I can play the guitar. So maybe we can enter the constant. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Okay, the contest. You say contest. 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 Don't put the other N. It's contest. 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 Talent contest. The problem is that you have the T and the C together. It's a talent contest. That's a problem with pronunciation. So like talent contest. Right. You have to articulate, right? Ese es un problema que en español no movemos la boca para hablar. And in English, you have to articulate a lot. So it's a talent contest. Right? You have to move your mouth, right? A veces, aunque no nos guste, pero we have to move it, right? Practice once again. I will go with the last group. And I will. Oh, you are. Oh, no, no, no. This is the last group. Okay, practice once again. I will come back. Okay.
Okay. Yeah. Hey, teacher. Are you done? Right, Have you finished? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's go to the main session. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's wait for everybody to come back. Okay, perfect. I have a couple of volunteers who want to be the first ones at the moment of sharing the conversation. Let me see, I have Ellen Nilsson and Wilbur, that they had a very good conversation ready. They are going to be the first ones. Okay. Okay. Uh, eh, tenemos que compartir la, la imagen. No, 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 I will do it for you, don't worry. Okay. There you go. Okay. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can cook really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't cook at all, but I can dance cooking. Excellent. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Very good job. Thank you, my dear students. Nice, nice. Reactions for your friends, please. Very good job. Thank you. Oh, so you can dance cumbia. Is it is it real that you can dance cumbia? Well, that's uh, some, of my, some of my dreams. To dance cumbia. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, 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 it's near a... Uh, uh, party, my, my daughter's party, uh, the 15, 15 years old. Oh, okay. So I have to, to practice. You have to practice. If you are yes. going to be, if you are going to be the chambelan, you have to practice. But, but the problem is that I have to left, left. Ah, uh, no, but to dance cumbia, you just have to feel it. I mean, and once you feel it, <laughs> everything is like, it's okay. just by, by itself. You will see that you will do a very good job. We are going to have a cadena de oración for you. <laughs> to dance cumbia. Very good job. So fantastic job, my dear Ed and Nilsson. And thank you very much, Wilber. Let's go with the next group. It's going to be Carla Flores and Rafael Alexander. Go ahead. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can paint. paint really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can do sell crochet, but I... oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, no, I can paint, uh, paint at all, but I can that just to sew the crochet. Uh -huh. so, um maybe can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Oh, let's practice tomorrow. Great, let's practice tomorrow, very good. So you can sew crochet, that's very nice. And it's for real that you can do it? Yeah. That's a very difficult thing. See, I, I never, I never, I mean, I the only thing that I learned was the little thread that you do, the line. La única trencita que se hace al principio. That's the only one that I learned. I it's never learned. Empresa. Yeah, I, I was. Bueno, my mother empieza. is good. Yeah, my mother is good. I am very bad on that. Okay, thank you very much, my dear students. Let's go with. Uh, let me see. Ten, ten, ten. 
José Luis en Magdiel. Okay. Oh, look, there is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can draw really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Well, no, I can draw the old, but I can't play the guitar. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice right now. <laughs> let's practice right now, right? Very yeah. good job. Excellent. Now, very good job. Reactions for your friends, please. Very good job. And we're going to receive Eric and Horacio. Oh, look, there is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can dance really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't dance at all, but I can play the guitar. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Very good job. Excellent job, my dear students. Very good job. Hernán and Paola. Okay, oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can dance really well. Oh, thanks. What you can do? Oh, no. I can't dance, dance at all. But I can play the guitar. Uh, so maybe. And so maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice it tomorrow. Very good job, my dear students. Very nice job. Let's see, who am I missing? Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, Rafael Antonio. And Juan Francisco, done already, right? Okay, for me, no problem. Juan Francisco, Juan Francisco is only, only, uh, only he's, listening. he's listening today. But maybe, yeah. maybe uh, Raul Ernesto can help you. Raul, who is Hello. your couple? What? Who is your couple? ¿Quién era su pareja? Mm, good question. I don't remember. You don't remember. Okay, <laughs> but, so you can. But it's a, a gear. Hi. <laughs> Yo era. Ok, ok, ya la encontramos. Go ahead. <laughs> Andrea okay. Sofía, go ahead. Ok. Oh, look, there's a talent content. Uh, on Saturday, let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. Uh, what can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh no, I can't sing at all, but I can play piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Very okay. good job. Let's uh -huh. practice tomorrow. Let's practice tomorrow. Very nice. Excellent. And Mr. Rafael, I am going to help you with the conversation. Rafael Antonio, you can start, then I will do the second part. Go ahead. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can't sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the soccer. Oh, you can play soccer. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. We know. Why not? You say, why not? 
Sure, why not? I'm sorry. Okay, let's practice right now. Very good job. Thank you, Rafael Antonio. Thank you very much. And who am I missing? ¿Quién me, quién me falta? Veamos, veamos, veamos. Nelson, who was your couple? You don't remember. Who Aleida. Was? Aleida, go ahead. Hello, Nelson. Oh, um, you know, I saw, um, oh my God, <laughs> I'm sorry. Relax, relax. <laughs> um, sorry. Hello, Nelson. Um, I was thinking about you last night because I saw in the newspaper a drawing contest and maybe we can participate. Oh, I can because I am too shy. I... <laughs> oh, come on. But you are very good drawing. Really? Maybe. I'm not so bad. But you can draw in cartoon very well. Um, so let's go and participate. Mm, OK, let's go, Aleida. Come with me. OK. Let's go <laughs> and participate. <laughs> very nice job. Hey, you see, you walked the extra mile. Thank you very much. Creating a new conversation, <laughs> right? It was uh, a, an idea for Nelson because Nelson uh, said, I want to improvise. Okay, that, let's do it. Yes. <laughs> That's so nice. I mean, yeah, it's okay. Very good job, right? <laughs> and you. you are going to go to the talent contest. The only thing that he said, like, I am too shy. Yeah, Nelson, shy. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, true. <laughs> it is true. Okay, very good job, my dear students. Am I missing someone? Se me queda alguien que no haya llamado, que no haya participado. Que hable ahora, o que calle para siempre. No? Okay. Televisa presenta. Okay, good, very good. Let's go with the next exercise. Right now, we're going to move a little bit on the book. We're going to go to the book. And here, as you can see, we were talking about the different forms of can and can't, right? On the book. And this is the manual that you have. If you have it at hand, you can use it. If not, I am going to be sharing it, right? In this one, in which cases do you use can and can't? You use can when you want to name your abilities and you use can't when you don't know how to do something, right? when you don't know how to do something. Yesterday, we were talking a lot about this, right? And I said that I can't ride a bike. I can't do a lot of things with numbers because I am not good with numbers, right? So in this case, this is my can't side. Here it says, I can speak three languages. I can direct small projects. I can't use spreadsheets, but I learn fast. I can't use this program, but I am a fast learner, right? And in this one, we have five different sentences. What we are going to do is to complete the sentences with can or can't, right? Depending on what you consider it's necessary, we are going to use can or can't. So please, on your notebook from one to five, you are going to write the answers, right? I need you to write number one, can or can't. Number two, can or can't. I need you to read them first, right? Read the sentences and according to what you consider appropriate, write the answer on your notebook, right? Don't copy the complete sentence because you have it in the manual. So, and if you have the manual as well in your computer, you can type it or you can just write it next to it, okay? But on your notebook from one to five, del uno al cinco, vamos a poner eh, los numeritos en el cuaderno y vamos a poner la respuesta, can or can't. And it says, I, I'm sorry, I help you today. I am really busy. Number and two, I just managed oh, to sorry. wake, uh, don't worry, don't worry. I just managed to wake up on time. I'm always late. Look, it's right there. Can you see it? Oh. It's so obvious. Sorry, I gave you the answer for that one. <laughs> Number four, I speak German. I lived in Germany for eight years. She doesn't have a driving license. She drive a car. Okay, so according to the sentences, I need you to write can or can't. Go ahead. And when you have it, we're going to share them with the class.
Ready? For number one, what do you have? Can or can't? Can't. 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 Right? It's negative. It says, I'm sorry, I can't help you today. I am really busy. Right? It's like, mm -mm, not today. Right? I can't help you today. I am very busy. Number two, I just can't. Can't, can't right can't. this is negative as well right can't. i just can't manage to wake up on time it's like i just can't manage no, it's like late. i can't do it it's like no lo logro i can't manage sorry tenía un visitante aquí <laughs> it's like Mama, mama. <laughs> okay. It says, I just can't manage to wake up on time. So like, can't manage is like, no me organizo, no lo logro, no puedo, right? In many of the cases, you say like, I can't manage to finish everything in the morning, right? You say like, ah, mañana voy a llevar desayuno, voy a hacer café y todo para no ir a gastar a las pupusas. <laughs> Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry for that. The next one, it says, look, it's right there. Can, Can. Can you see it? Can. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? It's so Can obvious, it. right? It's like, lo ves? Can you see it? It's so obvious. And it's in some obvious. cases, it's obvious, <laughs> right? That is a very good Salvadorian's mother sentence. It's like, no, mom, it's not there. If I go and find it, what will happen? Uy, no. It's like, it's there. Can you see it? Right? Number four. I, I, can't, speak and, I can speak German. I live in Germany for eight years. The next one. She doesn't have a driver's license. She, she can't, can't drive a car. She can't drive a car. Tell that to a Salvadorian person. Right? Hmm. Yeah, it's like, llevo ocho años sin licencia. <laughs> <laughs> Some people say, right? Rumor has it. So, can't. Okay, let's read the first sentence. Rafael Alexander, read the first sentence. I'm sorry. I can't help you today. I'm really busy. 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 I'm really busy. Hernan, number two. I just um, can't manage to uh, wake up on time. I am always late. Very good. Thank you. Andrea, number three. Look, it's right there. Can you see it? It's so obvious. Very good job. Wilbur, the next one. I can speak German. I lived in Germany for years. For eight years. Very good. And Ellen Nilsson, the last one. Okay. She doesn't have a driving license. She can't drive a car. She can't drive a car. Very good job. So what we are going to do right now, you are going to go and work with the same couple that you were working in the conversation. And what you are going to do is to create a short list of the things that you can do, the things that you can't do, right? And you are going to make a little list for you and your partner, okay? So you can say, for example, I can drive a car, I can work with numbers, I can uh, do different things at work, I can work with computers, right? You, those are going to be your abilities. Okay, so you are going to write down your abilities and you are going to pay attention to the abilities of your classmate, right? And then you are going to report when we come back, okay? I am going to send you back with the groups, that the couples that you were working. I am going to change a little bit here. 
and let me see, I have two, 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 and two. Okay, and let's work on this. You are going to create a short list of your abilities and your partner's abilities, and then you are going to report to the class. Let's go to the groups. Two, 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 and two. Okay. But for I am not for no, no for yet or for the class tonight, but only on Tuesday. It's a handout, you say. I don't have a handout. Handout, it's not for yet, it's a handout. Or Hand manual. manual, you can say manual as well. Manual. The manual or the handout? Handout, a manual, okay. Yeah. Okay, create your abilities. I won't interrupt you, go ahead. You, uh, you can swing. Uh, swing, yes, swing. Yes. Okay. You can't surf. Swing. Ah, uh -huh. but can't. Can nadar, pero can. no puede surfear. Surf. Correct. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. You can swing. Uh, you can't surf. But can't surf. ¿Lo está haciendo en, en alguna presentación o no? No, estoy viendo si está bien la, la, la expresión. Mm. It's okay. Lo pueden hacer en su cuaderno, no hay problema. Solo que lo anoten okay. ahí, no hay problema. It's okay. okay. Sí. okay. You're welcome. I am going to check on the next group. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Um, quiero ver... We are working on it. Okay, you are working on that. Mr. Wilber? So, Eddie Nilsson, you are at your work right now or at home? Not working. Okay. <laughs> I'm working right now. Oh my God. So you stay there the whole night? Yep. From seven to seven. Oh my God. 
Well, it's because working at the airport is like you don't have a time to work there. I mean, it's like you feel that it is 24 7. There is always people there. Yeah, always. Doesn't matter the time, it is always full. Yeah, tomorrow too. Ah, tomorrow will be a very full day. Yeah. yeah. Okay, finish. Wilbert, are you working on that? Okay, so share them with uh, with Ellen Nielsen because he needs to write yours and you need to write his. Él tiene yeah, que escribir yeah. las suyas y usted tiene que escribir la de él. So, yeah. we need to finish that, okay? I will go to the next group. Okay, okay teacher. Construction worker. Only. Any question, ladies? No, teacher. Okay, everything is clear. Yes. Yeah. Like horchata. <laughs> <laughs> okay, finish your sentences. Please, because we are coming back like in five minutes. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Porque hay diferentes tipos. Furniture. Furniture. Okay. Furniture. Furniture is with you. Uh, furniture of you. Okay. Yeah. Furniture. F U R. Furniture. It's no, it's with you. Furniture. Okay. Furniture. Okay. Uh, I can't dance. I can dance and yes. you can drive motorcycle, car and boot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Um uh, I can't dance. Um uh, well. It is wood furniture. Yeah. Yeah, wood. Wood <laughs> furniture. Yeah. Furniture. Uh-huh. I think in Spanish too. That's a problem, right? We always have it, don't yeah. worry. That's yeah. a common situation. I need to change the chip. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, you I cannot can you cannot edit the PDF. Yeah. <laughs> ah, es que para editarlo lo que puede hacer es descargarlo ahí en donde está esa flechita a la parte de la impresora. Lo descarga y si ya lo abre después, eh, ya descargado, lo puede editar. Y ya puede escribir en el PDF. Ok. So it's, no, it's easy, right? Editar. Ok. A student's book six. There you go. English. S -H. S H. English. No, English. English. L E and say E N G O E I I S H H. <laughs> there you go. Okay. No, nosotros no lo estábamos haciendo así. Yo en el cuaderno lo estaba escribiendo. Ay, no siempre se lo abre así. Qué raro. Sí. Qué raro. Bueno, it's okay. Tiene... Tiene predeterminado que se lo abran en la uh -huh. uh -huh. So maybe you can go to the to the file and then you open it. Later. But you can try that later on. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. Don't think okay. in Spanish. Don't think in Spanish. That is the most important part. Don't do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I am going to check on the last group and then we are coming back. Remember to write your abilities and your partner's abilities and uh, so you have them ready. We're going to okay. come back in a couple of minutes. Okay. I... Ajá. <laughs> a medio es... chambre llegué. <laughs> no, más que nos acabamos de dar cuenta que somos del mismo, vivimos, o sea, somos un sonateco los dos. Oh really? Oh no, my god. Sí. So you do you do, do you live in Sonsonate right now, Horacio? No, no, in Santa Tecla. Okay, and Eric? Uh, I am from Nahuizalco. Oh really? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. hey, but you do don't live in Sonsonate anymore. Eric? I, 
no, 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 Eric. Horacio, you live in Santa Tecla now. Sí. What about Eric? <coughs> ¿Ya no vive ah, en Consonate o todavía vive? Aquí estoy. Ah, aquí estoy en Nagusal. So nice. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was born in Santa Ana, in Chalchuapa. Really? Yes, but now I live here in San Salvador, right? But my house is there. It's still there. My mother, my family, everything. Everybody. Do you know El Tazumal? You visit? Uh, yeah, I go very often. Uh, Have you ever gone to El Tazumal? Uh, no. Hey, no. That's a place that you have to visit. My God, it's so beautiful there in Chalchuapa, in Santa Ana. And there you can get... I'm sorry for Nahuizalco, right? But the yuca con chicharrón <laughs> from Chalchuapa yeah. is the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want to fight or hurt any feelings, but yeah, Chalchuapa is better. <laughs> Use that. Uh, we talk about the yeah, yuca con chicharrón. The yuca con chicharrón, it's very good. I don't know why here in San Salvador they put fish on the yuca. I don't know why. Ooh. I hate it. I hate it. I mean, it needs to have chicharrón me, there. Me it's too, so good. Me too. Yeah. So, well, going back to the topic, did you finish about the conversation? Yeah, yep. yeah. Okay, so let's go back to the class. Okay, very good. Thank you very much for sharing and for coming back. What we are going to do right now with the information that you collected is the following. You are going to choose a person and you are going to say, for example, imagine that you are talking about me. Okay, you say like, I'm going to talk about teacher Nati. Teacher Nati can speak English. She can um, dance. She can, um, what? She can um, speak in public. She can prepare speeches. She can create curriculum, right? She can teach English and Spanish as well. And you give all my abilities. You say, but she can't. And then you give a couple of negative things that I cannot do, right? So, but she can't work with numbers, she can't ride a bike, and she can't ride a motorcycle, right? That's an example. But you are going to talk not about you, but about someone else. And I'm going to leave it open so anybody can participate. Just raise your hand if you want to talk about your classmate, and we will do it like that. Something important if you say, for example, I'm going to talk about Rafael. Rafael, he can't, no, right? Because in that case, you use double subject. So you say, Rafael can't do this. Okay, that's important. Go ahead. Lo dejo abierto a ver quién quiere participar. No todos al mismo tiempo porque se nos satura el micrófono, ¿verdad? Or you can say a couple of things. Solo tienen que decir dos o tres cosas. No va a sacar todo el historial de la persona. Carlita, teacher, go ahead. Go ahead. And Rafael can drive motorcycle and car and boot. And, and paint and, and make furniture of wood. Wood. Wood, uh -huh. wood yeah. So he's, you see, he's very multitasking, right? You never imagined that Rafael was good at making furniture. Ya cuando quieran renovar muebles, with Rafael. Very good job. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Car Carla can, can cook, a very delicious cook. Okay. Uh, can dance and sew crochet. Okay, she can sew crochet. Very good. Mm -hmm. Who else can tell me a little bit about his or her partner? Uh -huh. hey, teacher. Go ahead. Okay. Um, Wilbur can drive a car. 
uh, he can run every day. He can use the computer. And Wilbur can chat while he drives. <laughs> okay. It's important. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> he, <Okay>. can, <laughs> he can't run during a long time. I don't know why, but <laughs> it's what it is, right? <laughs> and he can fix the computer. Okay, very good. He can run for long distance. Wilbur, what is the longest distance that you have run? One kilometer. One kilometer. Okay, yeah. It's like, yeah, many, many of us cannot run like two blocks. Right? Batting down. Okay. <laughs> Downhill. <laughs> yeah, yo siempre les digo, yo nunca corro, pero si me ven correr, corran. Algo está pasando. Something is happening. Okay, Wilbur. Downhill, one kilometer for sure. Okay. Who else wants Maybe to share? Sure. Go ahead, Raul. Okay. Uh, my partner is Nelson. He told me he can drive a car, but he can't swim. Uh, he, he can learn autodidact. Uh, he's he's a self learner. He stir. No self learner. Ah, self learner. Ah, okay. Let me let me write. Like learning, but learner. Okay. He self learner. Learn. I am going to send it on the chat. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. He learn by self. He right? learns by himself. Uh huh. Ah, by himself. Okay, okay, okay. And he can't skate. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Another, let me see. He can play basketball, but he can play tennis. Okay, very good. Another, he can play video games, but he can to cook cake. He can't. He can't cook. He can. He can't to cook uh, cakes. Okay, important. Después de can, no decimos tú. Okay, I can cook, I can dance, I can play, I can swim. Okay, no decimos can to cook. Porque okay. ahí estaríamos ocupando el auxiliar y un infinitivo junto. Y es, that's not very good friends. You say, I can not cook, you say. Okay, thanks. Okay, and the good. last one, uh, he can be sociable and he can't be shy. Okay, he can't be shy. Okay, that's that's pretty awesome. It reminds me of me, right? I can't be shy at all. It's very <laughs> difficult for me. Only, only, only if I am sick or angry. Those are the only moments that you are going to see me serious. But then I am the soul of the party there. <laughs> that's pretty nice. I need one more volunteer to share information about his or her friend. Mr. Nelson? Me. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to talk about Raul abilities. Okay. Uh, he can drive a car, but he can ride a motorcycle. He can ride a bicycle, but he can't ride a horse. And he can play video games, but he can't play play soccer. Okay. He can't. He can play video games, but he can't play soccer. He can make digital image, but he can't draw. Okay, very good. <laughs> That's curious that he can draw uh, digitally, but not in real life. That's, Eso dije yo. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty <laughs> curious. Okay, my dear class, I need you to get one object that you have next to you. Okay, busquen un objeto que tengan ahí cerca de ustedes. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Get an object, any object that you have next to you. Get an object, one object. I need you to get one object. Let me find this one. Let me find one. I have one here. Okay, I got an object. Ta -da. Okay, did you find your object? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> My, okay, Rafael. Good, 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 yeah. He wanted he wanted to 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 show off his new hat. That's so nice. Okay, you have a plant. Rafael, can you show me your object? It's your helmet, right? Rafael Alexander. 
Show me your object. Sorry, I have a problem with the connection. It's okay. It's, it's a good. helmet. It's a helmet. Good. I love it. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Okay. I have my object here. This one. It's a little box. Paola, what is your object? What is your object, Paola? What is it? Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, is the case my headphone? Okay, is the case for your headphones? Jose Luis, what is your object? A Batman, I love it. Ah, the case for your glasses. Good. Hernan? A remote. Good. Horacio? What is your My object? Keys. Oh, your keys. Aleida? Yeah, it's a plant. A plant. Raul, yeah. I love that. Oh my God. What is it? It's a toy. Raul? Yeah. Oh, I love it's it. It's so beautiful. Oh my God. La envidia entrada al grupo. <laughs> Nelson, <laughs> what is your object? <laughs> A bottle with water. A bottle of water, okay. Rafael, what is your object? A bottle of water. Ellen Nilsson, what is your object? Oh, okay, a radio. Magdiel? I have a notebook. The notebook. Carla? What is your object? Sorry, uh, a pencil. A pen, a pen. pen, a pen. Sorry, sorry. Good. Pen. Andrea? What is your object? Bottle the water. A bottle of water. Wilbur, what is your object? I can see only the black square on your picture. Sorry, picture of my camera. It has a problem. But I have a mouse. A mouse. And Eric? I have a book. A notebook. Okay. So. What I need you to do right now, it's I need you to send me a sentence on the chat with what can you do with the object that you have in your hands, right? For example, with this box, I can create a gift, right? I can use it to create a gift or I can keep, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I made a big mess here. I can keep objects inside, right? I can keep objects inside. What can you do with the object that you have in your hands? For example, if you have a pen, you can write a letter. You can send messages. You can write on your notebook, right? With a cell phone, what can you do with a cell phone? You can make phone calls. You can send messages, right? With a helmet, what can you do with the helmet? What can you do with a well, helmet? I can protect my... Okay, so send me the message on the chat. Okay. One sentence. What can you do with the object that you have in your hands? Go ahead. I will send my sentence. Teacher, in yes? my case, because the plant is a... Uh, what can you uh, do with a plant? Okay. What, what uh, can you do? You can decorate your house. You can yeah. give it as a gift. You can create oxygen. You yes. can make your house look beautiful. You can decorate your table. What can okay. you do with the plant? Be okay. creative. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, how can I say said in English? Thirst. T H I R S T. Thirst. I will send it on the chat. Okay. Thank you. Thirst. It's on the chat. Thank you. With my helmet, I can protect my head, you say. With my keys, I can open the door. 
Very good. With my object, I can keep my glasses safety. Good. I can control the mouse in the computer and TV smart. Good. Esta es una prueba de que pueden practicar su inglés con cualquier cosa. I use the bottle of water so I don't die of thirst. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I can create a relaxed environment. Very good. With my pencil, I can write a letter. Right? With my pencil, I can write a letter. Good. Excellent, thank you. I keep receiving messages. I can change channels. I can change TV channels with my remote. Good. TV channels, right? Excellent. I can use the case for relax my fingers. Okay, I can use the case for relax my fingers, but that's the the headphones case oh my radio i can get instructions i can communicate with my co-workers i can shorten distances very good i can control what happens on the flight line good very good a lot of things that you can do with your radio yeah, excellent sure. that's very important right that's part of your uniform yeah excellent and very good, okay, keep writing the sentences. Remember, when you write the sentences, I is always capital, okay? Siempre la, el, la, cuando ustedes se refieren a ustedes, I, it's always capital, right? And let's see, I can change TV channels with my remote control. Very good job. Excellent. So this is good because you use it for you to practice your writing as well. You can practice English with anything. And this is a proof, right? Podrían agarrar todos los objetos que tienen en la mesa y escribir una oración por cada objeto. And you are practicing your English. You can mention it. It's like, with this, I can do this. With this, I can do this. With the calendar, I can know about the days. With this. So it's a matter of practice. You can just be creative and you can practice your English with anything that you have at hand. This is a good prove that you can also do it. Very nice. So my dear students, we're going to go over here just in this part, right? Any questions with Ken and Kent? No? Is everything clear about it? Everything is clear like horchata. Ah, come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> <clears throat> no, everything is clear. Okay. I want horchata. Uh, yeah, I want horchata too. That's so good. Okay, so do you consider, and tell me if I am uh, correct or not, do you consider that every single person contributes to a company? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Do you consider that every single person in the company is important? Yes, yes, teacher. yes, Okay, and my final question. Who do you think is the most important person in the company? Everybody, I think. Okay, everybody. Who is the most important person in the company? Me, you will say. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, the client. <laughs> <laughs> the clients, uh -huh. you are going to be surprised with the answer. Who is uh, the most important person in the company? The, in my company, the, 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 the driver personal. The driving personal, okay, good. You will be surprised by the answer. <laughs> uh -huh. Who is the, the most important person in the company? How do you say the, 
the, the man who keep the keys <laughs> to open. <laughs> <laughs> because is if, if the business is not open, you cannot work. Exactly. <laughs> Hello, Kiara. Say say good evening to the class. <laughs> Hello, okay. Kiara. Hello. Hello, Chato. Welcome, Kiara. Oh, hola, Kiara. Oh, Kiara, por favor. <laughs> oh, sorry. The most important oh. person in a company is the janitor. Right? El ordenanza. The janitor. Oh. Is the most important right. person because he's the one in charge of opening, setting everything, opening your office, having everything ready, and you can go to work. Mm -hmm. If the person, if the janitor is not there, everything is a chaos, right? It's like, yeah. and it's a big mess. And everybody in every single company is important. But many people give different things to uh, different contributions to the company, right? For example, the janitor contributes to keep the company open and organized. The secretary contributes to communicate everything in the company, right? The important things, not the gossips, right? You know what's a gossip? Yeah. A gossip is like, <laughs> en El Salvador, un chambre siempre empieza con y no te he contado. And then you start, right? That's a Radio gossip. Pasillo. Ajá, ya. Yeah. Two, two hours later. Exactly. <laughs> And it's like, niña. And then you start with the, with the big gossip, right? So, what is your contribution to the company? What is your contribution to the company that you work for? Okay, I need to listen in brief a couple of participations. What is your contribution to the company that you work for? For example, my contribution to Inglés Corporativo is to teach English and to help you improve your abilities in the language. That is my contribution, to share my knowledge in English. What do you do? How do you contribute in your different companies? Yes. Uh, well, in, in my case, uh, my contribution is uh, manage the area uh, of, of shared parts. Okay, to manage all the area. So you are the one in charge of all that area. Uh, only, uh, solamente el área de repuestos. Okay, uh, spare soy part. Soy el asistente del, de, de la subgerente. Entonces, una de mis, de, de, bueno, la más importante de, de, de mis actividades es, es como se llama, coordinar el área. To coordinate your area on spare parts. Very good job. Yes. Thank you, Alexander. Uh, who, who else? What is your contribution to the company? Who is the one that takes care of the computers? Who is the one who coordinates the activities? What do you do that you consider important in your area? My contribution uh, to the company is collect money. Collect to collect money. the money. <laughs> that's, yeah. a, that's a big contribution, <laughs> right? Yeah, very important one. To collect my, money. Uh -huh. My contribution in my work is the, the check the car by the, my boss every day. You see? To check the car of your boss every day. The car wash. Okay, and to take it to the car wash. Very good job, bro. That's important. Very important. What else? Who else? Go. Well, in my in my case, uh, my contribution in in my job is uh, make uh, different digital products to 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 useful to another clients okay to create or or users okay to create digital products for other clients or users very excellent 
uh, way to help. Very nice. And one more. My contribution is make the annual budget and cash flow. <laughs> That's a big <laughs> contribution. <laughs> the most important contribution <laughs> to create the annual budget, right? Okay. If you don't have that, the company just can't work. Very good. And I think Elenison has a very important contribution to avoid accidents. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if Elenison is not doing his job, everything is getting crazy. Okay, <laughs> excellent job. So that is a contribution. It's your give back, right? What you do as part of a company, right? It is the most important thing because it is what you give to the company, right? And for sure with that, you have a lot of benefits, right? You have a lot of benefits, you help others, and for sure you contribute with the area as well. And uh, before moving on the conversation, I am going to share the attendance. And before I forget, right? If not, I just get excited with the conversation. And let me see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, here we go. Uh, Aleida Esmeralda. Present teacher. Andrea Sofia. Present teacher. Okay, Andrea, we're going to stay at the end of the class for the little uh, debrief, uh, the 10 minutes, okay? Okay. Uh, Blanca Alejandra. Uh, let's go with Carlos Eduardo. Lenilson Aparicio. Present teacher. Cesar Romero. Eric Jose. And present teacher. Thank you. Hazel Elizabeth. Hernan Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Horacio. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Luis. Present. Juan Francisco. Carla Guadalupe. Present Carla, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. Sorry, tengo comercial aquí al fondo. <laughs> let's see. Let's continue. Uh, let's go with Nelson Peraza. Present teacher. Thank you. Paola Elena. Paulita, Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Raúl Ernesto. Here. Wilber Alberto. Present. And Jasmine Elizabeth. Jasmine. And Magdiel. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, let's move on the last exercise now that I finish with the attendance. In some cases I forget. Whenever I forget, just please remind me. It's like teacher, assistance. <laughs> okay, I sometimes forget. Let's see, I was sharing here the conversation, right? Here I have, I'm going to share this one and here. <clears throat> and this teacher, one is with, yes? Sorry. Eh, me está fallando el audio, no escuché si me mencionó. Yes, Paola. I have you sí. right here. Yes, let me see. Paola. Sí. Yes, I have you here. It's done. André and Kurt. And it says, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure that. I am sure about that. Look. Can you bring to this company? Uh, I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in large projects. The use of would and could. 
what is the difference that you can see between these two words? Do you see any difference between them in the meaning? What do you think is the difference? What will be the meaning of would be and could be? Well, uh, would for me is like a um, opportunity. Okay, it's like an opportunity, a possibility. But what about could be? A kind of no, a, a, a kind for for ask to to someone for help, for example. Okay. In the case of would be, it's like sería. Okay. Or puede ser, right? I can say this would be a great opportunity. Creo que esta sería o será una buena oportunidad. Right? And it says like, could be, it's podría ser. Say, I could be of great help in large projects. Yo podría ser de gran ayuda. So that's the, the main difference, right? Both of them mean almost the same, right? In this case, he says like, I can say this would be a great opportunity. Esa sería una gran oportunidad, right? You are talking about probability, right? Probability in the future. Yeah, it would be very good. You are suggesting that it might happen, right? Imagine if I say, if you receive an intensive English course, you say, it will be very good for my job area because I will use it, right? It will be very beneficial because you will need it more. You say like, I could be a great candidate for the curse. Okay, so that's like the main difference. Can you spot the difference between the two of them? It is a very small difference, but it's like important, right? Imagine if they say, if you are a computer engineer and they are giving new computers to your job, you say, that will be fantastic. It will be very beneficial for that. I could be the one in charge. Yo podría ser el que esté a cargo de las nuevas computadoras, right? I could be in charge of the new computers. It will be very good for the company, right? It is not like a big difference on meaning, but the use, it can, it can vary a little bit. Tomorrow we are going to be working, well, tomorrow not because tomorrow it's a holiday. Ay. Tomorrow you have a day off. Yay! Okay. No vayan a estar a las ocho. Teacher, conéctese a la clase. No, no les prometo nada. <laughs> no, tomorrow it's a day off. Mañana tienen día libre eh, por eh, la sueto nacional. Y este es por eso que el curso termina en lunes. Okay. Para que no, mañana duerman, compartan, cenen rico, tranquilo con su familia. José Luis, dígame. Yes, I have a question. What is the meaning of asset? Asset, asset. very good. Asset. Aporte. 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 Thanks. Una pieza clave. That's an asset. I will be a great asset in the company. It's like that you will be a very important part, a very important role. Okay, so on Thursday's class, we are going to study the difference between would be and could be. But please, if you can investigate a little bit on these two things, it will be fantastic. And it could be very useful for the class. That's why I wanted to leave the little spot here. And you also have it here in the manual. You can have it here and you can give a quick check on it. Okay, but that is going to be on Thursday. Tomorrow we don't have classes because of the holiday. And I am going to see you on Thursday, okay, my dear students? Okay, teacher. Okay. Is it clear? Okay. Today okay. I, I am going to I am going to stay for a couple of minutes with Andrea Sofia. And on Thursday, I am going to stay with Carlos Eduardo or Cesar Omero. Okay, so that will be on Thursday. Have a beautiful night. Enjoy your holiday, your day off tomorrow. And I'm going to see you on Thursday, same time, same link.
same place. Oh, good uh, night, my dear teacher. Good night, good night, good night. Good good night. night. Good night. Have a good same night. channel. Same channel. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, Andreita, we're going to stay for a couple of minutes together. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> Okay, Andrea, the main idea of these final minutes that we share, it is, um, for example, if you have questions, if you have doubts, or if you have a specific things that you need me to help you with. Uh, for the moment, I don't have uh, any question. Mm -hmm. um, um, uh, como decirle, In right now, and the how do you say alcance? I reach at the reach uh, the level I left before the pandemic. Ah, okay. Um, and is continue um, English class uh, this year. Oh, okay. Yes. So um, you were you were studying presential before COVID. Yes. Oh. Um, 20, 2019. 2019, yes. 2019. Imagine it was 19, 20, 21, 32. <gasps> Almost three years ago. <laughs> sí. Casi hace, hace tres años, casi. Sí, en el, 2000, el final del 2019 también hice el nivel 6 de básico. Ay. Y el siguiente año que ya íbamos a empezar fue la pandemia y como me suspendieron contrato, ya no pude seguir las clases. Oh, no. Y bueno. el año pasado no pude seguir porque terminé mi tesis de la universidad, entonces ahí fue donde... Sí, me imagino, ¿no? Sí. Es como una sola cosa. Bueno, pero mire, la vida nos tenía junta para, nos tenía para estar trabajando juntos. <risa> Cabal. <risa> ok, Andrea. Eh, what is something that you consider that you need to improve more about English? Something that you say, mm, no, this is difficult for me, I need to improve this or I need to work more on this? What is um, an area that you consider difficult for you? Um, the area uh, difficult for me is uh, speaking. Speaking, okay. Um, fluidez, más que todo en la, en, en la lengua, porque a veces se me traban con palabras como, digamos, está, um, if it, que es if, if, <coughs> uh -huh. con, con esas palabras son las que, Siento que me trabo un poquito. Okay. Do you know something that is very good for you to improve fluency and for you to improve your speaking is to read aloud. Leer en voz alta. Get something. Get a book. Get something, an article in English and read it out loud. A veces uno dice, pero ¿cómo vea que voy a estar leyendo en voz alta? It helps because even when you think that you are very good in the language, when you read out loud, you realize that you are not very good at, at the language, right? One day I just got a book and I started reading. And I said like, hey, que feo leo, dije yo. <laughs> when I was reading it out loud and I have been a teacher for many years. And even when you have this practice, I mean, when you start doing it, you start listening to yourself and you start getting the fluency. Siempre respetando como los patrones de, de la puntuación y todo, que en cada vez que tiene que tratar de leer desde el, el inicio hasta el punto, ¿ok? Para que usted vaya ganando esa, esa fluidez. Because we, que uh -huh. Lo que me ha ayudado últimamente es aprenderme las canciones en inglés. That's good, very good. And do you, do you get the lyrics? O sea, baja las letras, las, las letras. Yes. Ok, that's yes. very important. Yes. Ok, so in that case, it's good because you imitate. You imitate. I am going to send you a link. I have a link of a very good person from YouTube that you can practice speaking with her, right? And she's like pausing the video and she's like re-saying the sentence and she's helping you with pronunciation. And it's very good. So I am going to share a link on the group for this. And it is very, very helpful at the moment of practicing English and speaking. But the technique of reading, it's very useful. Ya sea que, no sé si tendrá algún libro por ahí en inglés en su casa. 
Yes, el fantasma de la ópera parece creo que. Okay, so grab, grab it and start with one page. Okay, agarra primero la primera página y te vas cabal oh. respetando los patrones de, de, de puntuación desde el principio de la oración hasta el punto. ¿verdad? O sea, alguna mm -hmm. coma detenerse, pero leerlo en voz alta y leer toda una página en voz alta. Hey, oh. if, you can, if you can record it, that would be even better, right? Si pudiera grabarte mientras lo estás leyendo, sería muchísimo mejor. Because you have an opportunity to listen to yourself again. And you would be like, oh my God, I, I pronounced this very horrible. No, right? And you can actually spot the mistakes that you have. So that is a very, very good technique. I use it myself. And you will see me in the bus, on the street, waiting for someone. And I am reading out loud. Okay, si alguien me dice, mira, espérame aquí en Metro, por ejemplo. So I start there and I take my book and I start reading. And so people are like, esta mujer leyendo aquí en Bojalza. <laughs> But it helps. It helps a lot because you start listening to yourself and that is a very good practice. And with the music, it's very good that you get the lyrics, right? Si ya bajas las canciones, bajas la letra y todo y la vas siguiendo. That's very good. So try to use with old English songs. They are very good. Okay, trata de ocupar canciones con inglés eh, bastante entendible. No vas a bajar a Eminem ahí. <laughs> eh, estoy con Michael Jackson. Okay, good. Um, este, Imagine Dragons. Okay, very good. That's a good one as well. Uh, how do you say algunas? Some, uh, some the Britney Spears, ah, yeah, uh, classic dolls, uh, classic. like Justin Timberlake. Good, very good. I mean, because they are very understandable, right? They yes. are very understandable. They have very good English, and that is going to help you a lot to do this. So, uh, in brief, just for me not to forget, I am going to send you the link for you to practice, and also there is a channel on YouTube that it's called uh, English TV and they have conversations all about different topics. So you can start listening and reading and repeating and practicing, and that can help you a lot also with the practice. So I am going to call Andrea Sofia to participate more for you to improve your pronunciation, okay? And your fluency. So I'm going to start ocupando para que practiques ahí en la clase. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Andrea. Uh, anything else that I can help you with? Alguna otra cosa que crees que, que necesitas ayuda? Mm, and the word, the connections. Ah, uh, uh, connectors. Connectors yes. for conversations. Yeah, I have a document about that. Okay, so I will look for that. Connectors. That's important because so you can, in, you can enhance your vocabulary. And you only have like and. And, 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 no, right, so you, you can have. Oh, because, why? <laughs> okay, I am going, only. The, those are the only ones that we use, right? In many of the cases, we have furthermore, moreover, and all this, and we never use them. Okay, so I'm going to share those with you as well. Thank you very much for staying with me, Andrea, and it will be a big pleasure for me to help you with your necessities. And any, any question, anything that you uh, might need help later on, let me know, okay? Okay. Have Thank a you, beautiful teacher. night. Enjoy your day off tomorrow and I will see you on Thursday. Uh, uh, otra cosita. Yeah. Eh, he estado entrando tarde porque me está costando venir de mi trabajo por el tráfico que se está armando últimamente. Okay. Entonces, eh, ahora entré a las ocho y media, ayer entré en cuarto a las nueve, pero espero que se regularice el tráfico en estos días y poder entrar cabal a la clase. Ok, eh, eso es importante. Siempre que tengas como esas dificultades, reportalo con los encargados para que ellos puedan este, tener como el registro de por qué entras tarde, ¿verdad? Porque, ay, Andrea no se quiere conectar, ¿verdad? Siempre en el grupo están, por ejemplo, los tres encargados de inglés corporativo. No sé si te has fijado. Ahí puedes ver en los miembros del grupo. Lo puedes reportar con cualquiera de ellos para okay. que ellos también lo tomen en cuenta. Yo lo pongo en asistencia, pero este, para que ellos también sepan la causa. Okay. okay. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Have a beautiful night. See you on Thursday. Bye-bye. See you. Bye.